gentlemen, Jenna Coleman. A rapturous reception. I saw the reception in Seoul and again today in Sydney. What's the buzz like around this tour? It's, it's really, to be honest, I think I'm in a bit of shock because we've been filming in Cardiff for eight months and we only wrapped season eight on Wednesday. So um, since then, we've been to four different cities um, and just had this incredible incredible response, but I've been so used to green screens and aliens and not seeing outside of Cardiff for eight months that this is all quite strange. Well, take us back to where it all started. What's it like to throw your hat in the ring and actually audition to be a companion? What was your audition process like? It was very, it was very secret. I remember getting the call and um, just saying, how would, how would you feel about being uh, Doctor Who's companion? Um, but they said, of course, you can't tell anybody. It's very, very secret. So you have to go to the BBC, to the basement of the BBC, <laughs> um, and audition for something called Men on Waves. Men on Waves. Yeah, so I had to arrive at the BBC like, hi, I'm here to, uh, to meet for Men on Waves. When was the moment when you realised that you were now part of Doctor Who? When, when does it dawn that, wow, something really life-changing has happened? That's a really hard question to answer because it, it, it kind of, when you're filming, you're very much in, 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 you're very sheltered and you're in this bubble. And it's, I suppose it's, you know, occasions like this in the 50th anniversary and when people come together and you actually get this incredible reaction or you see, you know, clips of, of Hartnell and of, of, of past companions and, and so many people that it touches or, or, you know, you'll have a conversation with you know, a 70-year-old who can tell you her stories or, uh, or, or a 10-year-old who absolutely loves the show. And then you realise, actually, wow, it's, it's, it's incredibly universal and, and international and breaks through kind of any age barriers or language barriers. And, and then you realise you're part of something pretty special. You are, and you are a very, very special part of something Thank special. You. We're going to bring you out again in a few minutes with yes. your new doctor. But please, a big round of applause. For Jenna Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. This series, 50 years of incredible television, of one doctor, of many doctors, and now of a new doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor. Until last Wednesday. Yep. Is it getting very real now? No. <laughs> it's getting less real by the second. <laughs> You're the doctor. I, I've heard that. I believe so. <laughs> um, I didn't. Uh, uh, funnily enough, I've been working on uh, the Musketeers, which is the BBC adaptation, mm. and we had a lot of Doctor Who directors came on to that. And because I was a big fan of the show, I was always asking them, what was it like and how, what was it like to work on? And I had a little whisper. Someone said, one of the directors said to me, oh, I think Matt might be leaving. And I thought, oh, that's a shock, because I love Matt. And mm. I, I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, but I thought, I wonder who they're going to get. And it never occurred to me for a second to ring up my agent and say, find out who they're after, put my name in there. Um, I just thought they would never go in, in my direction. So I was just watching the whole thing unfold. Uh, it was announced that Matt was leaving and I'd read in the papers who they were thinking of. Uh, and I thought, oh, he might be interesting. And oh, he's not very good. And uh, <laughs> uh, he, uh, I was slightly peeved that nobody seemed to be thinking about me. I was never mentioned. But you know, I thought, well, that's life. It's great. I'll, I'll be fascinated to see who it is. And then uh, my agent phoned me and said, how would you feel about being the new Doctor Who? And I just, I laughed. I, it took me about 20 seconds to say anything to her because I, I was just so delighted by the idea. Uh, and then the whole thing began to unfold as they tried to get me into a room with Stephen uh, and discuss it and, 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 and audition for him. 
did it, it, it lived in your heart from a very young age. We've actually got an image here. Uh, you drew this at the age of... <laughs> that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> But I have sourced from uh, the, the Sunday Times, a letter you wrote at the age of 15. The Radio Times. Dear Dalek Builders, may I congratulate you on your excellent Doctor Who special. Oh, the God. article's photos, and especially the Terry Nation Dalek story, were the twist in the tale. They were excellent. The Dalek construction plans will no doubt have inspired many a school to build their own Daleks. <laughs> Who knows? The country could soon be invaded by an army of school Daleks. Ah, but we'd be safe. We have Doctor Who to protect us. You finish it with, I hope that in 15 years time in 1988, you'll publish another special to celebrate 25 years of wandering in time with the Doctor, Peter Capaldi, age 15. You're the real deal. What is it about the show that, that reached out to you at that age and, and still does? My, my daughters are six and nine yeah. and they love it and we have grandparents in this audience and everything in particular, in particular with the kids. What is it about the show that reaches out? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've, it started when I was five and, uh, and I think I was watching it from when I was five. Uh, and I've often thought about it. I don't, I, I don't know what... Th there's a kind of magic in it and there's a sort of darkness. There's a sort of... Uh, it's, to me, it's almost like a kind of mythological Grimm's fairy s story. Why don't we try and get a bit of an insight to who he is from the person who's working with him as well. Let's not keep them apart any longer. Jenna Coleman's going to come back out now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So, Jenna, Peter's told us what it was like when he heard he was going to be the Doctor. Yes. Had you heard his name floating around? Can you remember the moment you worked out, found out who your new companion was going to be? I was so, so, so much speculation. So it was kind of like a three stage of, a three stages of, of, of hearing the name, seeing the face. And trying to pronounce the name. <laughs> <laughs> and then being like a click of, of course, that's, that's brilliant. Lachlan, what would you like to ask, mate? So when filming The Regeneration, um, was there much of interaction between um, yourself, Peter, and Matt on the day, um, a passing the torch kind of thing? We were kept separate. I mean, actually, I arrived the night before uh, and I came down to the studio and the first person to show me around the TARDIS was Jenna, uh, who, who brought me in and very kindly showed me the set and tried to make me feel at home and tried to make me feel not nervous. It's basically like, so this is your spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be taking over this tomorrow. Uh, but on the actual day, they kept Matt and I separate because uh, I think wisely they realized I didn't want to see what Matt was going to do because I knew he'd be fantastic. So I didn't want to be uh, thinking, oh, God, how do you follow that? Uh, and I think he didn't want to see he, the, he, the guy who was following him standing literally wearing his own shoes <laughs> 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 uh, in, in, in the wings. Um, so I knew they were off filming uh, the, the, the scene and then I just heard their <coughs> message from the, uh, on the intercom and the, uh, one of the, 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 the second assistant came and said, uh, it's time to go over now. And I, I went onto the TARDIS and I was Matt and I were dressed exactly the same. Uh, and Matt gave me a big hug. Uh, and he passed his, um, the watch that he wore as the doctor uh, over to me and said, this is yours now and, and the TARDIS is yours now. Wow. Did you feel like the senior partner the first time he was on set early in the days of those zips? I mean, you had, you had the experience and, the, and the, the runs on the board. That must have been a fascinating dynamic. No, it wasn't like that. I mean, you just, you know, we, we both arrive at set and, and, and are just, we I think work she together. I senior partner. <laughs> <laughs> I know who wears the trousers in this relationship. <laughs> Erica's got something she'd like to ask. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm from Sydney. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Can either of you speak in an Australian accent? Oh, oh yeah, now the Scottish got a good workout. Can you do Aussie? We've been waiting a week to try this. We've been waiting a week, yeah. <laughs> she does a very, very good one. Oh, well, what, what, what should we say? Good day. Good day. See, I've got my, my family going to judge me here. Yeah. Uh. Good day, mate. Uh, there you go. Yeah. What, one final question for both of you. You've been, this has been a very big tour and you, you're relentlessly generous with your time and I know you've got a few other places to go so you need to get to bed. But with, give us something here 
that six months from now, when, when we've seen the episode, when we've seen the series play out, okay? So, Doctor Who Series 8, give me three words. Doctor Who Series 8 in three words. It might not be apparent what you're saying right now, but six months or a year from now, I'll go, oh, that's what he meant. <laughs> Jenna, give us three words about the series. It's an important question. Mm. Um... The Promised Land. Can I give you two? Can I give you three? Yeah. <laughs> the Promised Land. Okay, The Promised Land. That's one of three. Oh, we Australians tend to run words together, oh, so that's right. a good. The, the, the Promised okay, Land. Okay, okay, if I say it really quickly, it counts the as three. Okay, the Promised Land. The Promised Land. Good versus bad. Good versus bad. Strange and charming. Strange and charming. The Promised Land, good versus bad, strange and charming. Peter, you've got anything up to nine words now, because that's <laughs> what... Uh, Sorry. You can do it in three if you wish. Okay, I'll do it in three. Trust no one. Ooh. Thank you so very much for joining us for this very, very special event. August the 24th sees the international premiere of Series 8 of Doctor Who. Please, another round of applause for Peter and Jenna.